Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to have you here. The OG Ghanaian men always promoting. So can you tell all of us here why today is so special? Uh, today is especially very special because not only are we talking about fitness and health, but also uh, skin health. So not only about doing reps in the gym, reps for your muscles, but also doing reps for your skin. So yeah, that's, that's why it's a very special day. Perfect. I, I think it's the perfect combination, right? You talking about fitness and skincare together and uh, nothing, nobody could do it better as well. So can you tell us a little more, what does a day in your life look like? Uh, a day in my life, if I'm not working, then I'm probably just working out pretty much all day, morning, evening. So in the morning, I primarily do my cardiovascular activities or my martial arts or my dance services. And in the evening, I do a lot of strength training. So, uh, that's like the perfect that's dance. That's pretty much it. And uh, because I sweat a lot, I wash my face a lot as well. So thanks to Ghani, my face wash. No, pl no plug in there. I'm actually using Ghani, my face wash. Perfect. I think like doing all of that must be tiring. And yeah. yet you look, manage to look so energetic and fresh all the time. Kudos to maybe credits to Ghanier men for that. Aaj to ab soch ki baat hai ki timing thoda kharab hai kyunki I've come to promote you know skin health, face wash, and mere aaj subah subah do pimples nikle. So the timing is a little bad, but uh, I think I should use the Ghanier men acne fight face wash today. <laughs> But I did hear you mention that in the morning you do your cardiovascular or your dance or your martial arts and knowing the amazing dancer that you are, how did you come about to start dancing? How did it become such an important part of your life? Uh, I've always been inspired by Michael Jackson or uh, uh, I remember just watching his videos when I was younger and just being fascinated and I knew somewhere that that's what I wanted to do someday and that's what I wanted to be like someday and uh, you know I'm just lucky that uh, I got a chance to learn how to dance uh, by my Guruji and uh, actually one of my choreographers who's also taught me how to dance is here with me today um, so yeah she's uh, also here her name is Zui. Uh, as for the martial arts, my team over here is uh, present as well and they've sort of taught me everything I know. And Mulubi, Nape, Kade, three boys who joined me before my first film, who I found on the beach and have been with me ever since then. Fantastic. And um, if I had to ask you a question, right? Like if you had to do between fitness and skincare, martial arts, dance. I would do martial arts. I would do song. Dance is and speaking of dance, what are few of your favorite tracks that you like to dance to? Your most favorite recent? tracks? Uh, my own songs you're saying or just in general? Anything that you like to dance to? Uh, anything I'll beat her. Nothing, uh, nothing particular. But, uh, like I said, I like Michael Jackson very much. Okay, we would love to see you obviously grow a little, like with you around and might sing a few notes. Just wouldn't make our day that way. Yeah, I mean, grooving alone is boring. If they join me, I don't mind. Uh, I know everyone is super excited. Can we just ask the crowd to move a little bit behind? Because we, he's going to dance and you're supposed to follow. Any song preference that you all have? Whistle. 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 It's very easy, yeah. Okay, so maybe you can I know, show I know Sana Sana's a great dancer. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Yes. So uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of the song and then uh, I'll teach you guys the hook step and then we can all dance to the hook step or whatever you guys want. Perfect, yes. Maybe we can have a few of them join us as well. Yeah, I would love that. I would love that. Uh, can we have the music? I'll just show you a little bit.
The other one is just a footwork uh, thing, which is a little moderate difficulty. If you guys want to learn that, I can teach you that as well. Excuse me. Uh, now, what you have to do is, heel in front first. Okay? Now, you're going to jump back, right leg piche, and left leg aage on the toe. Now, the front leg, front leg heel up. Then, back leg, in front with the toe. Now it's just these two things which you have to keep repeating. So, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Ye basic hai. Abhi isko aur agar sundar dikha hai to, isko aur khubsurat karna to, hal ka ho ki with the body angling. Yani, basic ye hai, one, two, it's just legs. Now bodily, if I want to make it look nice, I will angle it slightly, slight diagonal. So with the front leg, the, the left shoulder will come. If the left leg is in front, left shoulder will go slightly again. Right leg will go again, right shoulder will go again. So it looks something like this. One, two, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. That's, that's pretty much it. Let's try this on music once. If you guys can do this, do this it's pretty impressive eh, because this took me a while. Quite impressive. Good job. Clap for you guys. You guys picked it up faster than me. I got to rehearse this a lot more because of my shooting. You guys are on the spot, so that's all. Can we ask them to clap the whole thing together? Clap Whatever the whole thing. You guys think you can do both these moves back to back? Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's, Let's try it. And should we ask someone to how, how about we get? Yeah. Why don't we get uh, three, four volunteers who think they can do this together? <laughs> uh, you guys can follow me. Okay. So we we'll start. We we'll start with the first one. First, first one, yeah, then. Which one do you guys want to do first? I'll ask you guys. Let's do the short one first. So we'll do. Da 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 Let's put our hands together and give a huge round of applause for Tiger, who's not just a wonderful dancer but also a great teacher. You made it seem so easy. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you. Wasn't it easy for you all to learn that out? No, I agree. Students are just amazing dancers. <laughs> You're wrong. <hungry. laughs> but but um, that was a lot of fun and it was great. Watching you dance and learning that you are just in awe of the way you taught them and the way you simplified it. Thanks, is that in the script or you mean that? There is nothing in this, I mean that. Thanks. Absolutely mean that. Um, but also, like we were just speaking, um, it's, there are so many things like 
There is tiger and then there's dogs, there's tiger and then there's of course martial arts. And it would just not be my day. You know, you're here and we ask you to not show us a few moves of yours. You're known for your agility, you're known for your feet, so, uh, we would love to see you do a couple of martial arts. Sure, 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 sure. We'll do something. Um, in fact, I'd love to have some volunteers with me again. Uh, because I just want to do it alone. I think people have seen me do it enough. I'd love to teach something basic to everybody. Yeah? So now, one, two, three. Um, I'm going to teach you guys some basic uh, kicks and some kicks combinations. Uh, yeah, sure. Nice. You know, you know the terms. Chala. Uh, Kulip. Okay guys, so I'm going to uh, show uh, basic kicks and then we're going to combine these kicks like how we combine the two dance moves. We'll try. Uh, students come here. That's our uh, Guruji. The first kick is a roundhouse kick like you rightly said. Very simple. I'm going to show you guys. You're going to turn on your uh, lower leg, which is your left leg, okay? You're going to turn on the balls of your feet, which is just below your toes. You're going to kick, turning your hip. Your knee is going to rise up, perfect, son. And where your knee is, na, your foot will eventually go. So your knee should be turned, and you're going to point your toe and hit. Perfect, perfect. Now watch this. One after another, we're going to hit the pad. Alka piche da. Simple. Try. Very good, very good. Sound is damn good. Thoda niche le. Bas. Perfect, perfect. I want you to point your toe. You'll enjoy yourself if you keep with the toe. Don't keep with the toe. Yes. Panje se. Ha, kich ke rakho. Yes, better, better, better. Nice. <laughs> okay, this kick bad. This is the next kick. We're going to do just the plain kick. First single, spin kick. You're going to turn, you're going to look. After spotting the pad, you're going to kick the pad with the heel of your foot. Got it? Heel or you can kick it with the outside of your foot, which is this area. Turn, kick. Let's see this, guys. Left side, left side. Right side, mana right with right side, you can be comfortable. Super, yeah, so now. So you've been doing this for years, too good. Yeah, not bad. Let's try it again. Halka sa nichi rap, or halka straight kar. Legs ko thoda straight kar. Turn first, yes. Now kick. There we go, there we go. Give a clap for him, please. Can we have a round of applause for the participants? Alright, next. Pelle turn to us, 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 up right leg, or left leg, right, chicken is the turn to us, turn to perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, please, please come. You want to do this kick, the spin kick? Yeah, I'll show you. Which leg are you going to kick with, right or left? You're righty. Okay. So, if you're righty, then your left leg will be in front. Okay? Again, same thing. Turn and kick. Turn and kick. Okay? Let's see that. How about that? Very good form. That was brilliant. brilliant. Now, we're going to combine these two kicks. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Now, if you're comfortable this side, or if you're comfortable this side, let's choose which side you're comfortable with. Let's give a cheer and cheer them on so that they can. Yeah, very nice, very nice. 
I think you're comfortable with the right spin. Yeah, so you you kick to the left leg first. Just like that, Sanam. Very nice. Very nice. क्या बात है यार क्या बात है Yes. Don't look kick perfect. आप करेंगे ऐसे. Guys, let's keep and teach them and of course all of you guys attempted it was a pleasure watching them and yeah, they picked it up so fast and it just again i'm just in awe how one person can do so many things so well thank you you can do it right so tiger we have done some dancing we have also you have also showed us some martial arts and it's been wonderful but uh, you also mentioned at the beginning that you know you take care of your skin you use garlic and oils but i want to understand like ask you a little more about it okay like how did what are the things that you do for skin care how do you find the perfect product that suits you um i try to keep my skin as hydrated as possible um i use a lot of sunscreen especially because we have so much sunny weather and it's very hot here in mumbai so you know i have uh, i have a four step process that i follow I uh, use a toner, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, and then moisturize. So that's pretty much what I follow on a daily basis, as much as possible. Yeah. That's perfect. But in, to continue this conversation, I'd also like to uh, invite on stage our expert, Dr. Agni, so that he can give us more insight. Oh, How are you, Dr. Nice to meet you. too much here because that eventually dries the skin up as well so uh, try to balance between twice a day twice and twice once dr agni what is your take on skin care how do you feel about it what is your recommendation how often should one wash their face and when so the most important thing after a workout is cleansing the face because uh, we all sweat a lot and if you're not sweating it means obviously the workout wasn't good enough So, because we sweat so much, the sweat blocks our pores. It blocks our pores, and a lot of people they use sunscreen before working out. So, when sunscreen, the product mixes with all your sweat, it clogs your pores, and that leads to acne. That can cause a lot of breakouts. Um, so, when we try to get the sweat off our face, one of the things that sweat by itself is an irritant to the skin. So, someone who has, you know, atopic skin, someone who has very sensitive skin, they're very prone to breaking out. And in those people, it's also very important to use moisturizer because if you don't use moisturizer, the sweat is going to irritate your skin. So sweat, per se, has to come off. So it's very important to wash your face with a cleanser. Plain water, if that's the only option available, then yes. Uh, but I would recommend that soaps tend to be very harsh on the skin, so it's better to use like a cleanser, a gentle cleanser, and get the sweat out of your face because sweat, makeup, sunscreen, all of that very important to get out of your face. Are you all listening to whatever he said, and are you all going to make sure you follow it as well? And even like you mentioned at the beginning, I think you've got all the points that he mentioned. You are good skin. <laughs> I also want to ask, um, what uh, what is the top or top three skincare uh, tips that you would like to give everybody? 
Um, stay hydrated. I think that's very important. Um, you know, your body is primarily consistent of water. Uh, I think our body, if I'm not wrong, doctor, is around over 70% water. 70, 75. There we go. So, very, very important to keep the skin hydrated. Uh, I would say that's number one. Uh, get a good night's sleep. I think uh, you know we all need a beauty sleep, seven to nine hours is ideal. I think the uh, doctor can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and uh, I think what doctor mentioned in terms of you know keeping the sweat off your skin as much as possible, keeping your skin hydrated, moisturized. Um, I don't know if you want to discuss uh, a seven step or four step or five step, whatever it is. But uh, I I tend to use. Um, you know, certain products, uh, whether it's hyaluronic acid, whether it is uh, a vitamin C serum, uh, moisturizer, and usually top it off with sunblock. So, yeah. I think do the basics, but do it right is what so you It's like. a small thing that you do in the, in the long run and make a big difference. Yeah. Absolutely, it can make you. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add on to what Tiger just mentioned? Uh, so you spoke about the four steps, then you the seven steps. Um, the most important thing that you need to do on skincare routine first is cleansing. Okay, that's the most basic thing. Get all the sweat, get all your previous product out of your face. That's step number one is cleansing. Step number one is optional, which is stone. Okay, so P, C, T, M, D is plus minus. If you feel the need to use a toner, by all means, please use a toner. But by and large, a lot of our uh, face washes, a lot of our um, cleansers these days are not as harsh as they used to be 10 20 years back. So toning is something which is smart on the I say, if you still need it, by all means, please do it. The third step is moisturization, okay? Now, um, it's a misnomer that uh, because we live in a tropical city, this is a very humid city, moisturization is not required. No, um, the air's humidity is high. It's just that you're sweating a lot, but one can still have dry skin. So if you have dry skin, the, the humidity of the city is not going to help you. You still need to moisturize. So the third step is moisturization. And on top of that, you top it off with sunscreen. Now, how much sunscreen? So, the ratio is two fingers of sunscreen for the face and the neck. So, accordingly, do the math. Both of us are wearing t shirts, so we need a lot of sunblock on our hands as well. So, uh, face sunscreens and body sunscreens are different. Uh, we need more lotion based, more sunscreen based on the face. So, that's a very simple routine. But the basic step, which is cleansing, which is the most important thing, that's what we're starting with. Um, so, it's very important that um, if you're unable to at least cleanse your face with like a, like a proper product, just, you know, put water, get all the dirt, get all the grime off, uh, and just change your clothes. Because one thing that a lot of us um, people do is that um, um, we, 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 after working out, oh yeah, we just leave. So, that's something we need to, you know, skin is very important. I hear you. It is important. One thing that I would never do. Is there anything as such that you haven't had? Something that I would never do, um, like for skincare, you mean, or specifically what? Generally, skincare, yes. For skincare, uh, I can't think of anything really because I'm still I'm fascinated by skincare. And there's still so much that I'm learning in terms of uh, you know, how to maintain your skin, uh, learning about different products. Um, you know, recently I've been studying on retinol and the benefits of retinol. Know, anti aging, etc. So, so uh, it's, it's, it's a never ending study. It's, it's really fascinating. That's perfect. Is there anything that you've seen, Dr. Agni, that people do and you you know, you know, would advise them to not continue doing it or not do it? So, one thing I think which all of us are guilty of uh, when we go to the gym, we usually carry one towel. True, true, right? Okay? And that towel we usually use to protect the equipment. So, if you're doing a uh, chest press or whatever you're doing, to prevent the equipment from getting dirty, we put the towel there. We use the same towel to wipe our face and clean our face. And the way we do it is like very, very vigorously, right? That's not good. And also keep in mind that that equipment has been used by everyone. So you're basically introducing contaminated dirt, sweat, subcar dirt and sweat to your face. So that's how uh, breakouts happen. That's how you're introducing infections to your skin. So it's always recommended that you carry two towels one for the equipment, one for the face. Unfortunately, I don't think any of us are really um, uh, following that, but that's something we should, because uh, oftentimes we see that after working on people start noticing a lot of pimples, right? 
It's also because uh, when we speak, speak about cleansing, we just spoke about face cleansing, but what we tend to ignore is hair cleansing. Because if you have a lot of dandruff, if you have a lot of uh, dry flaky scalp, you know, flakes on your scalp, when you sweat... Thank you. Well, thank you everybody for coming and thank you for all your attention. Uh, thank you, Ghani, for organizing such an informative and amazing event. And very, very happy to be here with all of you. All the creators, thank you so much for all your participation. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raga. It's been a pleasure having you here. But um, before we proceed with the campaign, and we would like for you to do one rep for fun and one rep for skin. Shall we? Sure, let's go for it.